안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hey you. It's Jaya and I'm here to give you Chloe and I's or I guess my part of Chloe and I's collaboration of our January City Challenge last video update. That was a mess and I just made like timey wimey stuff but with words. Great. So this week we focused on speaking and listening. So let's get into this recap so I can tell you how this week actually went. Go go. So on Monday, I was a great YouTuber in terms of going out to actually, you know, work on this study challenge with my camera and my tripod and then I turned it on and realized that I forgot the memory card. Not even the battery that you have to like charge, no, like the memory card that usually stays in your camera. Yeah, I forgot that. So I have no footage, but I can tell you what happened. So I actually got to practice a lot of speaking that day. Can you verify something for me? Mm -hmm. Did I practice my speaking yesterday? Oh, you did, and I was doing this and working. <laughs> and I was like, oh, they sound cool. I want to be like that. Oh my god. Debbie, did we speak Korean on Monday? Oh, yeah, we did. How did that go? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. You're making me look like I lied. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I thought you meant like formally. No, conversationally. On Mondays, I meet with my Korean study group, and there was actually, we had like a newcomer. And if she's watching this video, hey girl, hey! But we had a newcomer, and she was very good at speaking Korean, so we spoke a lot of Korean as an, oh, you're like, oh, like you, you, like, you've been studying Korean. How long have you been studying Korean? Why are you studying Korean? Have you been to Korea? Just a lot of like, conversation, and it was really fun to like, meet someone who was at a similar level, because usually, at least in my experience, when I meet people in real life, they're people that are beginners, which is fine. It's just I can't converse with them in like a normal converse for like normal conversation things. It's usually like, let me read this textbook dialogue with you. So on Tuesday, I met with my friend Nikki at a Starbs. Yes, I know I go to Starbs a lot, and I see my friend Nikki like three to four times a week. Yes, that's normal, even without a study challenge. Yeah. Somebody calculate my Starbs bill. Please, just kidding. Please don't do that. No. <laughs> but um, anyway, so that day I was mainly focusing on my listening skills because Monday was spent really just talking in Korean, which is a lot of fun, but whole speaking and listening, so I had to do the listening skills. Okay, so it's Tuesday and it's listening and speaking week. So yesterday I worked on speaking and today we're going to work on listening. So my italki tutor gave me some topic stuff that she wants me to work through, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the listening. being kind of frustrated with the homework not because it was hard like normal people or normal situations regular situations but I was frustrated with the homework because it was too easy so I finished my like listening section my italki teacher had told me that it was more of like a level three side but I definitely think like after having taken it, it was definitely like more of a level two because it's way too easy like way way too easy like I was getting annoyed with the pauses for the questions and stuff I was like come on let's go let's go so I don't think that was the right level for me. I know she told me it was going to be easy for me, but I didn't think she meant that easy, so. After completing all of that, I moved on to my past exams for the topic that I have personally printed out that are much, much more recent. Now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to my like past test papers and study some vocabulary from the questions that I've already completed, and then we'll see where we go from there. through a past topic that I took back in 2018 when I was preparing to take the topic um, at that time but I'm basically going through it just to see like what vocabulary words I still don't know so uh, with the first few questions I'd already highlighted words that I didn't know and like, like underlined them I guess called them out basically um, and now as I'm getting towards the end of the section it looks like the child got lazy and stopped doing that so I'm gonna go ahead and basically look for the words that I don't know so I can add them to my little like vocab list sheet thing that I've been making um, so, let's see how many more words Natalia does not know. I 
stop filming while you were waving. <laughs> Cause you were blurry and I wanted you to be in focus so everyone could see your beauty. Oh. <laughs> what are you studying? Uh, well, I'm getting a phone call, but apparently I got a take. Bro. Going over grammar points. That's good, cause it's grammar week. It's grammar week. Ooh. And then after that, I moved on to just practicing my listening by watching some Japanese lessons on YouTube that are meant for Korean speakers to learn Japanese. Moving on to Wednesday, it was a much chiller and shorter study session. One, because I was brain dead. And two, because Kathy and I need to go buy toilet paper. Yeah. I'm calling you out, Kathy. <laughs> Kidding. We didn't buy enough last time because apparently we go to the restroom a lot more than we do. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'm putting this in the video. <laughs> anyway, so we went to this cute cafe called Mudley, and I think we were only there for maybe an hour and a half. Kathy was studying Japanese, and I was studying Japanese. Oh my gosh, here she comes. I was studying oh my gosh. supervised. <laughs> Are you here to supervise? Yes. <laughs> I feel like they can't see your face, so this is just intimidating. <laughs> anyway, so Kathy was studying Japanese yeah. in Korean, mm -hmm. and I was studying Japanese through the, the lessons on YouTube like I was doing the night before. Okay, so today is Thursday. We're gonna start off with some vocabulary, yeah. even though it's speaking and listening week. I don't care. We're gonna do some vocabulary first, and then we're gonna go into listening. So I tried to write some practice sentences for each of my new vocab words. I'm most proud of this one because it says the people participating in the protest or like political protest will be gathering at the, I guess, like district office. I think that's the right, how you say that in English, I think. But I'm so proud of myself because I use political campaign or protest and to participate and to gather. Ooh, good. Yeah. I was really in the zone that day. It's hard to get me in the zone for studying. And then she dragged me out of there after 30 minutes because she didn't like her tea. Uh, not 30 minutes, like at least an hour. Yeah. I guess an hour. Good week. Hmm. Okay, so I'm kind of going to cheat and study Japanese. So I'm going to study it like I did yesterday just by watching like a Japanese lesson that's being taught in Korean. So it's listening, but also Japanese. Because so I have Japanese class on Saturdays and I'm so under the level of everybody else. So I need to like play catch up so I don't make a fool of myself again. Not that Kathy's in this challenge, but I mean, <laughs> it's fine. She gets reprimanded too. <laughs> She's kidding, yes. Kathy's getting reprimanded too, as she just said. I'm not sure if you could hear her, but we stayed home and we just watched Attack on Titan and we decided we were gonna practice our Japanese listening skills. You know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, just kidding. Oh my gosh. And we started yelling out, Hecho, because, like, leave. What is it? Levi Hecho? Yeah. Because we're silly and we like him, even though he's a cartoon character. Anyway, so. you're gonna get so many comments saying, "Oh my God, yes!" <laughs> Stop. <laughs> anyway, now I'm all like hot. <laughs> anyway, so um, I actually attacked Kathy, surprise attacked Kathy with the camera, asking her what we did and what she was doing. And so I hope you enjoyed this little clip, boy. Nah. Did あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
촬영 안 했잖아요. 그래서 안 했어. 했죠? 리바 했죠? 그냥 목요일에 우리가 Attack on Titan 그 하루 하루 동안 하루세 어디? 하루 종일? 하루 종일? 거의 하루 종일이었어. 야 거의 하루 종일 뭐 최, 최근? 최근 한후 우리 그냥 작은 타이틀 봐서 신개키노 켜진. Sure. <웃음> <웃음> 그래서 공부 안 했어요. 그래서 아니 근데 일부러 공부했잖아. 근데 근데 이게 근데 이, 이 영상은 한국어 배우고 배우는 아 챌린지잖아. 뭐 <웃음> 죄송합니다. <웃음> 죄송합니다. <웃음> 근데 괜찮아요? 왜냐면. 이 이번 주 말하기랑 듣기 실력이 집중하고 있어서 유리가 지금은 한국말로 얘기하고 있습니다. <웃음> 진짜 어릴까 봐. 얼 어리. <웃음> so that was me and Kathy speaking Korean for speaking practice to make up for the fact that we were binge watching anime the night before. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. And yes, we actually kind of do do that, right, Kathy? We talk in Korean a lot. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, we do that. She said, Yeah, we do that. <laughs> Quote. Kathy, parentheses. Hey. So on Friday, it was a very chill study session. Honestly, because I was just mentally fatigued from studying for like so much um, that I just went out to a local cafe and I practiced my listening because it's very easy to do. So today is Friday, the last day of our study challenge for this week. For actually the whole study challenge in general, oh my gosh, I'm so thankful because I'm so tired of being stared at with my camera going at, like literally everywhere. But anyway, it's fine. Um, so I thought, hey, I should start speaking some Korean, especially because this week is like supposed to be focused on listening and speaking. So. 이제 한국말을 말해봅니다. 아, 오늘 제 듣기 연습을 듣기 연습 말고 <웃음> 듣기 실력에 집중하고 싶습니다. 아, 그래서 제 산, 아, Talk to me in Korean 이야기 cultural topics with Andreas the Greek 이라는 아, 영상 course, 영상 강의, 수업 그런 거 아, 쓸 겁니다. 아, 이게 그냥 문화에 대한 얘기를 네, 네. 문화에 대한 얘기를 듣고 그 얼마나 이해할 수 있는지 그 보고 그 다음에 그 한국어 자막 그 켜고 다시 그 영상을 다시 보고 아니면 다시 다시 본후그 PDF의 그 번역을 뭐 봐야 돼요. Oh my gosh. 지금 문장 어떻게 시작했는지 이미 까먹었어요. 그래서 내가 어떻게 그 문장을 어떻게 끝나야 되는지 이미 몰라요. In terms of actually taking notes and writing things down, I didn't really do that. I just watched the speakers speak Korean. I paid attention for words that I was unfamiliar with and I paid attention to ways that they were phrasing certain sentences because to be honest with the first episode or first like lesson that I watched which was about 12 minutes I understood the majority of it I know at the time I said 70% but then after looking back and reading the Korean sub like captions the closed captionings I realized I knew almost everything that they were saying okay 다 봤습니다 이번에는 그 한국 자막을 있어서 다 이해할 수 있었습니다 사실 내가 모르는 단어가 10개 정도 세웠습니다. 사실 처음 봤을 때 내가 모르는 단어 그거보다 생각했는데 아니었더라고요. 음, 이제는 그 다음 이야기를 볼까요? 그 얘기가 Drinks at Convenience Stores에 대한 얘기입니다. And then the second episode that I watched which was about convenience stores, like drinks at convenience stores, I had no idea what they were talking about. That is it. That is the end of this study challenge. I hope you were introduced into some new resources and maybe some new methods of studying with those resources if you already have them. So make sure to go check out Chloe's video. It's on the same topics um, right here. And I will see you guys next week for a new video. Tell me bye, you guys. Bye-bye.